This is the second in a series of tutorials on how to use the StudyMinder homework system. In the first tutorial, we created a class schedule. Let's take a look at that quickly. Clicking the class schedule button opens the terms and classes window. We can change the term here or start a new one, but let's click the edit button so we can see what we just finished. We added a term for summer, summer 2011, and three classes, English, math, and science. So we click the OK button. Now we're ready to add our first assignment. You can add an assignment from the scheduler view. This is the calendar view that you can use to see everything that you have scheduled, assignments, study time, classes, or any other events that you want to add to your calendar. You can also add homework assignments from the homework view. Clicking the homework button shows you the homework list view. Let's add our first assignment here. Click the new assignment button and this opens the assignment window. Now from here there are a lot of controls that you can use to give information about the assignment that you're creating. The class menu shows English, Math, and Science. Now these are the classes that we just created in our term for summer 2011. Notice that it says classes for summer 2011 so we know that we're in the right term. We'll select English and we'll add a description for our first assignment. Let's say reading chapter 2. Now under the assignment type menu you can select what kind of assignment this is. This is a reading assignment so we'll choose that. But notice also in the assignment type menu there's tests and quizzes. Make sure that you add all of your assignments, tests, quizzes, projects, reports, everything that you do for a class add those assignments and that way StudyMinder will calculate your GPA using everything that you have done for each class. The next step is to select the estimated study time. Let's say that it's going to take us two hours to finish reading chapter two. StudyMinder will calculate how much homework you need to do using the estimated study time. So think carefully about how long you think it will take. Now that we've selected the study time, let's go on and set the due date for the assignment. Let's say Monday at 9 o'clock. So now we have everything that we need here. We can click the Save and Close button, and our first assignment has been entered. Notice that it's displayed here in the, in the Homework List view. Now from the List view, if we want to make any changes, we can do that right here in the List view. Let's change the description to Reading Chapter 1, since this is the first assignment that we'll be creating. We can also change the due date here. The calendar will open up. Once you have completed part of your assignment, you can come back to StudyMinder and make changes. You can open the assignment window back up by selecting the, the control under the Edit column. Choose Open, and the assignment opens back up. So let's say that we've finished reading for 30 minutes. Under percent complete, choose 25% because that's 25% of two hours. And now you can see the time remaining is one hour and 30 minutes. Click Save and Close, and you can see that the time left has been updated here. Now we may want to add a reminder to our assignment so we make sure that we don't forget about it. So let's open it back up and click the Reminder button. With the Reminder set, we can now choose the amount of time we want to be reminded before the assignment is due. We can say five minutes before or any time up to two weeks before. Let's set four days before so we can see, the, see what happens when the reminder actually goes off. Click Save and Close. Now, when you click the Show Reminders button, here's the reminder. All of the reminders that you have set appear in this window. So you can select a reminder and you can choose to cancel it or you can snooze it or you can just close this window. Leaving the reminder there allows you to come back anytime, click show reminders and you can see what you want to be reminded of. But let's snooze this one for one minute. We'll set it for one minute. Close the window and in one minute from now the reminder will go off. If you want to duplicate an assignment, you can easily do that. Go to the Edit column, open it up, 
and choose duplicate. So now we have this assignment here two times. There's our reminder. Let's close it. We'll change the new assignment to read chapter two. And we'll set it to be due on a different date. Let's say one week from when the first one was due. So now we have two assignments. And we have reminders set for both assignments. So now there's the second reminder. We'll close it. This completes tutorial number two, how to add an assignment. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to schedule study time and use the study time features in the Study Minder homework system.